Hey everybody, welcome back to the new and noteworthy mod review. Today we're going to take a look at transfer ownership. But before that, this video is brought to you by Dringer Overlander and Farmer G. Thank you for being farm barons. So the transfer ownership mod, which can be found over at the farming simulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu, is going to be for PC players because it is making use of additional scripts and is going to be what I think is an absolute critical mod for anyone that plays multiplayer. If you only ever play single player, this mod's not for you. It doesn't do anything for you because you're in single player and you don't have to worry about transferring ownership of things from one farm to the next. What this mod does is it allows you to properly transfer ownership of bales, pallets, and vehicles and attachments or implements from one farm to the next. So let's take a look here. You can see down in the info screen, we have a tractor here that is owned by Farm A. Okay, and I am currently a member of Farm A. So I can, I can enter it, I can use it, I can drive it. It's got 2,000 hours on it. I have used this thing to its fullest extent, but I want to upgrade. I want to upgrade to a bigger case tractor. Farm D, well, they're just getting started. They are looking for a deal on a tractor. They're looking for a deal on a tractor. And you know what? These sales, they're not helping them out any. There aren't any tractors for sale. But I've got this thing for sale. And I wouldn't like to get rid of it. I would like to help out Farmer D. So we have entered into an arrangement where I'm going to sell this tractor to Farmer D. Well, you know what? I can't do it. Game doesn't allow me to transfer ownership. That's where Transfer Ownership Mod by GTX comes in. We're just going to come over here to this activation icon. We're going to select our case Magnum Tractor. It's got a suggested value of $4,273. That's based on the wear usage. That's based on the repair level. And it's based on the hours of running. Well, I can transfer ownership to Farm D just like this. I no longer own that tractor. That tractor is now owned by Farmer D. You see now, see it says Farmer D. I can't enter it anymore. I don't have the ability to enter the tractor. But if I come over here and join Farm D, I can hop in my brand new tractor and I can drive away a happy individual. And I can say, you know what? I owe Farmer A some money. That is in the base game. So what we can do is we can come over here. We can go and farm A. We can transfer money to farm A. I'm gonna give him $4,000. We agreed on that price. I've now sent him $4,000 as a thanks for all his efforts. Now, if I come over here as farmer D, I don't have the ability to transfer anything because I don't own anything. I don't own anything within the transfer square here. Let's go back and join Farm A. So as Farm A, I own these five silage bales. But I want to send these five silage bales to Farm B because Farm B has a need for silage bales. I made these bales. These bales are mine. Let me join Farm B. Maybe you don't know what happens. But if you are not a contractor, of the farmer that made the bales, you're not going to be able to poke them. They're going to be invulnerable. Right? All we can do is push these bales around. We can't poke them. Well, we can fix that problem real quick. Let's go over here. Let's transfer our bales. They've got a value of $4,446. Let's transfer our bales to Farm B. Presto, now they say Farm B on them. If I join Farm B again as a demonstration, 
Farmer B can now come over here and take his bales and take them home. Because he now has full access to be able to stab them and be do whatever he wants with them. We don't have to worry about maintaining contractor status in order to be able to use other people's bales. Right? Isn't that awesome? Now, let's say Farmer C... Farmer C has a bakery. Farmer A has a grain mill. Farmer A makes pallets of flour. Farm C wants pallets of flour for the purpose of their, their bakery, right? Join Farm C. Now let's come over here and take a look. I've got a pallet owned by Farm A. I own the bakery. I am not a contractor of Farm A. I can move the pallet, but nothing happens. I can't do anything with it. Now, of course, if I became a contractor of Farmer A, like that, now, as you can see, I am able to make use of those pallets. But for whatever reason, I don't want to be contractor with Farmer A. I don't know. Maybe I don't trust him that much. So I don't want to be a contractor of Farmer A. But what I do want is I want to buy his pallets of flour. Well, as we've already seen, as Farmer A, we can come over here, and now I can transfer the flower pallets to Farm C. Now Farm C owns these pallets, and Farm C can do whatever they want with them because they are Farmer C pallets. Of course, we would transfer money, we would change money around. Paying for pallets, paying for products is not a part of so much the transfer ownership mod. We would use the base game function to transfer actual ownership as we are able to already. But now I can take these over to my bakery and make use of them without having to worry about being a contractor of any other particular farmer. Now, if you want to put one of these transfer ownership placeables down yourself, you're gonna to go to Buildings, Tools, scroll over here, we have the Transfer Ownership Point. And the only catch is we have to put this down on land we own. Okay, so I'm still a part of Farm C. So I own this little plot of land behind the bakery. I can put this down. And now I can, basically anybody can come over to that transfer point and transfer ownership. So you can have multiple of those really cool mod something that quite frankly should have been in the base game let me know what you all think down in the comments below for the transfer ownership mod again it's by gtx and it can be found or at the farming simulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu and since it is making use of additional scripts it is going to be available for pc players only until next time happy farming